I'm now delighted to be joined by ADA CEO, Tracy Brown. Tracy, thanks so much for being here. We're coming to the end of the 81st scientific sessions. Let's look beyond the meeting. How has the ADA helped get patients as well as clinicians through a very challenging year? And what's left to do before we're out of the woods? First, I'd just like to say the 81st scientific sessions has been phenomenal. And I wanna give a, a quick thank you to the team behind all of this and everyone who participated. Our whole goal and objective is to bend the curve of the diabetes epidemic. That means less people uh, living with diabetes while we continue to fight for a cure and to help people living with diabetes thrive. We're gonna keep leaning into uh, helping drive the standards of care so that clinicians are using that. We're gonna continue to drive uh, access affordability. So there's a whole host of things that we will be doing. I mean, COVID-19, as we heard and have been living, has been devastating. We still have a, a, a great amount of work to do as it relates to the research and the, the linkage between COVID-19 and diabetes. We have a huge body of work to do around the inequities uh, that COVID-19 has exposed. So around a cure, care, costs, cuisine, food, and community. What's been the role of ADA in advocating for diabetes patients during this time? What have and will be the ADA's priorities here? The ADA has had a, a very large role in advocating for people living with diabetes, particularly during this COVID-19 time. Um, advocacy has always been a core uh, part of our mission and what we do. But specifically, when COVID initially hit, we took the feedback from frontline healthcare professionals and we took the feedback from people living with diabetes to help us understand where to lean in. We did things like getting an emergency waiver, uh, working with CMS to get an emergency waiver to use CGMs in hospitals. We leaned in again to uh, make sure that we were reducing any administrative burdens around prohibiting people from getting refills, insulin pumps, CGMs, all of those things. And then finally, We've continued to lean in from a, a food and nutrition uh, perspective, trying to drive policy changes as it relates to SNAP. So a, a lot of good work uh, that has been done uh, through this COVID-19 pandemic. Again, diabetes was an epidemic in this country well before the COVID-19 pandemic. We are going to continue to advocate, advocate, advocate. We are going to be focusing on, on food and nutrition insulin affordability, and, and continuing to uh, advocate around research and innovation. What about the future of diabetes care? How is the ADA pushing for better health equity? Better health equity, again, is gonna come through our Health Equity Now uh, platform. The American Diabetes Association is going to continue to lean in and lean in hard. We've got to take down these barriers. We have a Health Equity Bill of Rights 10 Bill of Rights that people living with diabetes and quite frankly, all Americans should have access to, we're gonna to continue to lean into that. Beyond equity, we need to continue to lean into things um, related to digital and technology, telemedicine, and how to use and integrate uh, technology as it relates to the care for people living with diabetes. And we're gonna to continue to just make sure uh, that we are leaning into things like uh, precision medicine, um, personalized medicine, personalized care. This is where the future is going. Our goal is to help people living with diabetes continue to live their best life right now, right today, while we continue to fight for a cure. Any final messages for scientific sessions attendees as they head back out into the real world after the virtual meeting? A message that I have for all who has attended the scientific sessions, our 81st scientific sessions, is first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for how you're contributing. And now we must continue to drive action. We talk a lot about you get one point for saying, nine points for doing. There is still a lot of work to be done. And now that the COVID-19 pandemic, people, you know, the country's opening back up. Let's not lose the sense of urgency, the speed in which we have been moving 
to drive what we need to drive for people living with diabetes. Thanks so much, Tracy, and good luck for the coming year.